President Reed, Dean Schrader, members of the Board of Trustees, officers of the university, deans and vice presidents, guests of honor, members of the faculty, candidates for graduation, family, and friends. Welcome to the 154th annual commencement of Loyola University Chicago College of Arts and Sciences. As we begin, I'd like to draw your attention to the university's land acknowledgement statement on the inside front cover of your program, which honors the heritage of the grounds we walk. Now, will everyone who's able please stand for the posting of the colors by the Loyola University Army ROTC Color Guard and the playing of the national anthem by the Loyola Wind Ensemble. We ask that you remain standing until after Reverend Dr. Patrick Gilger of the Society of Jesus and Assistant Professor in Sociology gives the invocation. gathered from many traditions and from many places, we come here together to offer our prayers. Father, you are the gatherer of all that has been scattered in creation. Immersed as we are now in the tumult of our times, our hearts know that scattering sometimes means loss or disruption or confusion. Please gather, we beg, from all of those places in our world where good things are scattered 
and lost, and from all those places within us, ourselves, where we feel scattered and lost. Please gather all of this, all that might have been lost and all that you love, Father. Gather it today, protect it, keep it safe from harm. But Father, we also feel and we know, especially on this day of great joy, that at other times, scattering means not loss, but joyful giving. It means giving without counting the costs, a donation of intellectual talents, of generous hearts. It means a pouring out in love of all that we have cultivated and labored for and now possess. That is how these graduates gathered here before you have scattered, Father. In their years of study, they have scattered the gift of their minds. In their years of labor, the gift of their hands. In their years of friendship and companionship with one another, they have scattered the gift of their hearts. And in this generous giving, they have borne much fruit, and we are very grateful for them. Please gather up all of these gifts, the gifts they have offered, that they have now become capable of offering because of these years they have spent here at Loyola. Gather up these gifts, Father, and in so doing on this day which we celebrate them, gather them, their very selves, to yourself as well. And in so doing, bless them. We ask this, Father, in your Son's name, who lives and who reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father Gilger. Will everyone please be seated? It is now my pleasure to present Dr. Peter Schrader, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Buckholtz, and good evening to the class of 2024. As I look upon the sea of smiling faces in front of me and across this entire arena, it is truly an honor and a privilege to welcome you to the 154th commencement ceremony of the College of Arts and Sciences here at Loyola University, Chicago. Each of you, as a member of the graduating class of 2024, has been part of a very special academic home, the College of Arts and Sciences. Since its founding in 1870, the college is now home to 20 academic departments and 39 interdisciplinary programs and centers that span an array of intellectual pursuits, ranging from the natural sciences and the computational sciences to the humanities, the social sciences, and the fine and performing arts. We, the College of Arts and Sciences, are especially proud that each of you as graduating members of the graduating class of 2024 has been prepared to think critically, to engage the world of the 21st century at ever deepening levels, and to become caring and compassionate individuals for others. Each of you can be extremely proud of what you've accomplished during your academic careers. You were introduced to new ways of thinking that are different than those you grew up with. You discovered new and exciting ideas through your classes, achieved mastery over a chosen area of study, developed your professional abilities, and perhaps most importantly of all, made lifelong friendships. These accomplishments serve as the heart and soul of our Jesuit-inspired education and what it means to be a graduate of the College of Arts and Sciences. You also have the distinction of having been students 
during the COVID-19 pandemic. And your resilience and creativity were incredibly impressive as you not only met, but surmounted the academic challenges associated with the pandemic. You are truly part of an exceptional generation of students. So without any further ado, please allow me to end by thanking everyone gathered here today as members of the extended College of Arts and Sciences family for coming together to celebrate this incredible academic moment. And most important of all, please join me in congratulating the graduating class of 2024. Thank you. With pleasure, I present Paul M. Kalapala, candidate for the degree of Bachelor of Science Biology, summa cum laude, who will offer some remarks on behalf of the graduates of the College of Arts and Sciences. Loyola University, Chicago. Today, as we celebrate an incredible milestone for the class of 2024, I wanna take a second to ask ourselves an important question. Why are we here? Why did we choose to study at a Jesuit school? Why Loyola? I think of the Jesuit phrase, go set the world on fire. Now, I recognize this might be an initially confusing phrase, but to understand it, let's start by thinking about what fire is. Fire destroys. Its heat can obliterate everything it comes in contact with. So is that what it means to go set the world on fire? Well, partially, yes. Our world is broken. People fight, manipulate, step on whoever they have to to get what they want, and so many others are left marginalized and neglected. In Chicago alone, over 6,000 people lack proper food and shelter. In the face of this brokenness, should we not set the world on fire? Should we not, as Loyola's vision states, pursue and even fight for a more just society? But fire doesn't just destroy, fire builds, keeps us warm and cooks good food. This is what it means to go set the world on fire. We're called not just to tear down what's broken, but to build something new in its place. And this isn't just Loyola's mission of service, but God's. God saw the brokenness of our world and came down himself to fix it. At Loyola, we can engage with this mission by volunteering with the Community Service and Action Program or through student orgs like Labra and Heart for the Unhoused Chicago. We have every chance to go out to those who are hurting and be God's loving hands and feet. So friends, as we prepare to leave this place, I ask again, why are we here? We're here so that we can go set the world on fire. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to welcome back Dean Schrader, who will introduce our commencement speaker, Dr. Matthew Kalinsky. Thank you, Dr. Buckholz. And it is truly an honor to introduce Dr. Matthew Kalinsky as this evening's commencement speaker. In 2006, Dr. Kalinsky received his bachelor's degree in biology from the College of Arts and Sciences right here at Loyola University Chicago, 
after which he earned an MD in osteopathic medicine from Midwestern University in 2010. As one of our most distinguished alumni, Dr. Kalinske transformed his love for biology and medicine into an incredibly inspiring career. At the beginning of his medical career, he embarked on a double residency in pediatrics and internal medicine. Following a residency in Milwaukee, he secured a pulmonary fellowship fo focusing on cystic fibrosis research at the Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. Throughout his medical training, Dr. Kalinske was always curious about the logistics and operations related to optimizing patient care. So what did he do? Well, this led him to become the founder and CEO of the Staffing Management Group, which has grown into one of the country's leaders in providing talent acquisition and staffing services across all 50 states. Dr. Kalinske has been an innovative leader in blockchain technology that aims to streamline collaboration among recruiters. He is also one of the co-founders of LaneFinder, which is an artificial intelligence-driven technology platform that was designed for the transportation industry. And if that wasn't enough, he recently published his first book, Work, Passion, Life Balance, Finding Fulfillment Through Zones of Efficiency. In short, Dr. Kalinske is one of the leading lights of our alumni community, combining his love for biology and medicine with business and healthcare management. So please join me in welcoming our keynote speaker, Dr. Matthew Kalinske. Thank you, President Reed, Dean Schrader, uh, Dr. Boltgoltz, faculty administrators, and family and friends, and of course, the graduates of Loyola University of Chicago. We are happy to be here today, aren't we? Congratulations to everyone who is graduating today, because this is a milestone in your life you will never forget. In 2006, I was in your spot, and I know how anxious and exciting this is. I also remember wondering how quickly each speaker will finish so we can keep the ceremony moving. So in order to keep the ceremony moving, I will present a very simple message. I would like to present four truths I discovered in the first 18 years after graduating, and I will end with a challenge for each of you. Consider this your first homework assignment of your new phase of your life. <laughs> Truth number one, becoming smarter does not mean you are becoming wiser. In 2006, I thought I was smart. But when I graduated medical school in 2010, I realized that the knowledge I had four years earlier was nothing compared to the knowledge I had learned in medical school. In 2014, when I graduated residency, I realized that the wisdom of physicians grew out of thousands of patient interactions, and being smart didn't always save the patients, but rather wisdom had a better chance of doing so. The key to increasing your wisdom is, starts with the understanding that no matter how many degrees you do have or you do not have, the experience and the continued refining process of wisdom requires you to put the time to absorb it through interactions, and also you will have to make mistakes along the way. Pushing your own limits and growing in wisdom will result in occasionally making mistakes. Sometimes those mistakes will be small, and sometimes they will be large. But the key to gain wisdom out of every situation and to keep moving forward one step at a time. Truth number two, 
say yes to your hopes and dreams and say no to the hopes and dreams established by others. Pursuing your goals in life require that you stop pursuing the goals of others, which may include friends, family, si siblings, significant others, and ensuring that the goals and dreams you have are your creation. In 2020, I published a book called Work, Passion, Life, Balance, Finding Fulfillment Through Zones of Efficiency, and it focused on the three types of relationships we all have in life. Work relationships, which typically are selfless relationships. Life relationships, which are those mutually beneficial relationships you have. And passion, which is the relationship you have with yourself. When COVID shut down the world, People had more time and more money, but they were less happy because they didn't know what they wanted on a personal and individual level. The noise of social media and living up to the expectations of others often drowns out the hard conversations that you need to have with yourself. Often, once you start identifying what makes you happy, what goals you want to set, and more importantly, how you want to achieve those goals, that is when you can maximize your life and achieve those goals. Acknowledging the relationship with yourself and expressing yourself completely will help you bring balance to your life. Truth number three, a liberal arts education is the best type of education as long as you have learned to learn throughout the process. Everyone in this room who is graduating today has the advantage of a diverse education that will allow them to learn new skills in many diversified fields and adapt to a changing marketplace. The economy is cyclical. There are ups and there are downs. But the people who tend to survive are adaptable and continue to learn even when they are established in their career. Despite graduating with a biology degree, I have started seven businesses within a variety of fields, including human capital management, technology, and transportation, which has landed me on the Inc. 5000 list six out of the last eight years. While I have not always been successful in these endeavors, I made it my goal to constantly adapt and grow in a diversified manner. The skills I learned right here at Loyola have helped me achieve these goals and I am sure they will continue to help you as well. Just because you are graduating with a specific degree of anthropology, bioinformatics, biology, sociology, doesn't mean you have to limit the next 40 years and stay in that department. In fact, the world today that we live in looks favorably on diversified experiences, allowing each of you to have a competitive edge in the future changing landscape of America. Truth number four. Almost done. God works in mysterious ways, and he doesn't give up on you even in the darkest times of your life. When I was choosing my undergraduate school, I didn't appreciate the difference or the impact of a Jesuit education. But looking back, I now see how impactful that decision truly was. I am proud that today one of Loyola's mottos is, we are Chicago's Jesuit Catholic University, a diverse community seeking God in all things and working to expand knowledge in the service of humanity through justice, learning, and faith. During my four years at Loyola, I made good decisions, poor decisions, and sometimes write out bad decisions, as I'm sure many of you can relate to. But today, I am truly blessed. I have a loving wife, four beautiful children, and I have loving parents and family members who keep us ensure that we are faithful to God. Over the last 18 years, I have had periods in my life where I've stopped praying or attending church. And as a result, I find myself in a bleak and scary situation. But by the grace of God, he has helped me make the right decisions to keep the journey going forward. I continue to be in amazement by the power and grace that God has to offer. And I continue to do my best to serve him and the community around me, just like the Loyola motto previously stated. The road of being faithful will have many challenges in the next couple decades. But if you keep working on your relationship with God, he will stay with you and he won't give up on you. 
In fact, I believe he is walking with each of you today, and he will be by your side through all of your challenges when you encounter them in the future. Through these four truths, my goal for each of you is to strive to become wiser, to say yes to your own hopes and dreams, to maximize your Loyola education, and to develop a stronger relationship with God over the years to come. Today is the end of one period of your life, but make no mistake, the next journey will be starting quickly. And I hope that each of you can maximize the next phase of your life ahead. I will leave you with your challenge or your homework assignment. Find someone who helped encourage you to attend Loyola or who had a positive impact in your life while you were here and thank them for their support. Every graduate in this room has had the support of faculty members, friends, parents and grandparents, or other relatives, and oftentimes we forget those simple words, thank you for your help. Life is short, to, so make sure you thank them for helping you start the rest of your life as a graduate of Loyola University. Thank you, mom and dad, for your help getting me through my education. Thank you, and have a great rest of the ceremony. Thank you, Dr. Kalinske, for those words at once practical and inspiring. The candidates for baccalaureate degrees from the College of Arts and Sciences will now be presented. Dr. Peter Schrader, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, will make the recommendations to the President, who in turn will confer the degrees. I would like to invite President Reed and Dean Schrader to the center podium. So will the candidates for baccalaureate degrees from the College of Arts and Sciences please rise. President Reed, I have the pleasure of presenting to you the candidates for the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. The candidates have fulfilled all the requirements for their degrees, and I recommend these degrees be conferred upon them. By the authority granted to Loyola University Chicago by the State of Illinois, and vested in me by the Board of Trustees. I am honored to confer the baccalaureate degrees upon all those presented and recommended by the Dean and the faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences. And as a sign of your new academic status, please move your tassels from the right side to the left. Congratulations. The candidates for all baccalaureate degrees will now come forward by major to be recognized by name as directed by marshals. Dr. Joyce Knight, Associate Dean, Student Academic Affairs and Advising, and Dr. Adam Patrakowski, Assistant Dean, Student of Academic Affairs, will read the names of the candidates. Candidates who have not yet been taken out of their rows may be seated again. Friends and families, please remain in your seats and hold your applause until all the degrees have been recognized so that each candidate's name may be heard distinctly by their family and their loved ones. Guests are not permitted on the arena floor or near the stage. Professional photographers are taking photos of the candidates, and these photographs will be available to you in the coming days. Thank you for your cooperation.
I'm pleased to announce the degrees for the College of Arts and Sciences. Receiving the degree Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science in Anthropology, Grace Catherine Bates. <laughs> Sophia Robin Brandley, magna cum laude. Iridian Yamalith Seha Reyes. Hector Luis Santano, cum laude. Deidre Ann Collins, cum laude. Christina Marie Erickson, honors magna cum laude. Catherine Maria Flores. Amelia G. Gardner, summa cum laude. Christina M. Judici, magna cum laude. Dharma Halvadia, cum laude. Emma Grace Hutchin, honors, magna cum laude. Maya Coach, cum laude. Kylie Eileen Lentz, summa cum laude. Samantha A. Lichterman, cum laude. Montserrat Laura. Ella Nora Lucas. Mia Jasmine Martinez, magna cum laude. Victor Matthew Metzger Viome. Kayla Francis Moore, cum laude. Carolina Piatek. Madison Danielle Prokop. Charisma Angelique Rainey. Joanna Alicia Ruiz, magna cum laude. Patrick W. Sheehan, summa cum laude. Abby Noel Simpson, honors magna cum laude. Susalyn B. Singroy. Danita Sungvornothan, magna cum laude. Leah T. Swan, summa cum laude. Erin Daisy Tien, summa cum laude, the Department of Anthropology. <laughs> Receiving the degree, Bachelor of Science in Bioinformatics, Mariam Ahmed, cum laude. <laughs> Horace S. Anjum, cum laude. Haley Atkins. <laughs> Haley Rain Ginneman. Grace Catherine Chilton, honors magna cum laude. Sandra Martina Jablonska. Walter McCain III. Mansi Patel, magna cum laude. Warwick Thomas Lee Price. Magna cum laude. Samantha K. Rutherford. Devin Jeet Saini, magna cum laude. Kendrick Sandoval. Rohan Sethi, summa cum laude. Nirupama G. Shanbag, summa cum laude, the Department of Bioinformatics. <laughs> Receiving the degree. Bachelor of Science in Biology, Rehan Majed Abdallah, Greta Akas, cum laude, Grace Elizabeth Acosta, honors magna cum laude, Kimberly Angelina Acosta, honors cum laude, Hamza Ahmed, honors cum laude, Alexandra Alanis, Katarina Dalia Alvarado, honors cum laude. Krina Anil Amin. Dean Joseph Angelikis. Alexandra Dionisios Apostolopoulos. Helen Appleberry, honors cum laude. Muna Munir Arman. 
Talar Rose Arroyan, cum laude. Alexis Annabelle Avalos, cum laude. Amina S. Baig, magna cum laude. Sania S. Barkat, cum laude. Elena Nicole Bartnick, magna cum laude. Eva Elizabeth Bednar, cum laude. Joseph Robert Bima, honors. Alexis Marie Beatler. Julia C. Bell. Brianna Janae Berry. Mitt Krish Mukesh Balani, magna cum laude. Zara Bojani, magna cum laude. Paige M. Bodhi. Anna L. Bocas. Veronica Julia Bonifaci, summa cum laude. Julia Maria Borowska, cum laude. Danielle Ann Mercado Buendicho, cum laude. Zoe Tatlongkari Berg, honors magna cum laude. Angelina Renee Carcioni, cum laude. Diego Alejandro Cardenas Contreras. Blake Joseph Carlino, magna cum laude. Keely Elizabeth Carney, summa cum laude. Alexander Carrillo. Julia Jing Lee Carter, magna cum laude. Ryan L. Chang, magna cum laude. Daniel Patrick Chang, honors magna cum laude. Jacob W. Coker, summa cum laude. Artina Benet Collins. Adam Jajani, honors magna cum laude. Arben Durdowski, magna cum laude. Paul Eugene Davis III, Sergio Devon Dean, Eric S. Delgado, J.B. Jr. Delgado, Kate Elizabeth Diedrich, summa cum laude, Alexander Robert Dimitrio, Hannah N. Duty. Julia Therese Dorr, cum laude. Cian Dotson, honors magna cum laude. Aylin Anahi Duarte, magna cum laude. Anastasia A. Dukova. Autumn Riley Dushak, magna cum laude. Grace Francesca Ellerbeck, honors magna cum laude. Caleb John Evers. Besarta Feritage, Michelle Matilde Ferrick, honors summa cum laude. Kaylee Hunt Fitzpatrick, Katarina Fern Fleischer, Jose A. Flores Valor, summa cum laude. John Terrence Floros, honors cum laude. Jessica Carino Franco, honors, magna cum laude. Emily Noel Gagan. Juanita Garcia, magna cum laude. Charisma Leilani Garcia, magna cum laude. Isabella Nicole Gates, honors. David Vasili Georgi. Labrini Giancopoulos. Abigail Rose Geigler. Enoch Gish, honors magna cum laude. Sylvan Goldrich Mida, honors summa cum laude. Azucena Gomez, summa cum laude. Alexandra Govea. Anna Elizabeth Grundhofer, honors magna cum laude. 
Olivia Marie Godardo, cum laude. Danielle Tristo Gunev. Kristen H. Gunev. Tiara T. Gweeder. Eva Marie Gergen, honors cum laude. John Dimitri Harolampoulos. Allison Marie Hartman. Sarah B. Hasid, magna cum laude. Owen Christopher Haina, cum laude. Sarah Michelle Herrera. Dana Hayesat, cum laude. Ian Norbert Hip. Naya Amora Hudson. Sunera Saida Husseini, magna cum laude. Leila Kanoelani Ikeda. Etinosa Lili Idiguinsa Amalele. Brianna Marie Jackson. Tyler Brooke Jensen's Honors Magna Cum Laude. Jayla M. Johnson. Angela Joseph, Magna Cum Laude. Tara Lynn Joseph, Cum Laude. Bansari Vilkumar Joshi, Magna Cum Laude. Grethel Alexandra Juarez, Magna Cum Laude. Paul M. Kalapala, Summa Cum Laude. Natalia Kowalko. Greta Marie Keller, summa cum laude. Mary Ellen Kesuven, cum laude. That's not the end of biology. It's not the end of biology. Pardon. Ali Nihal Khan, honors cum laude. Malik Mohammed Khan. Malika Kubehi, cum laude. Sam Kubehi. Noah Thomas King, summa cum laude. Itai Kleeman, summa cum laude. Abigail Suzanne Nipple. Demi Sophia Kula Georges, magna cum laude. Jacob Zane Kuljis. Neil John Legatow. Neil Basa Laparasan, Jr. Maria Catherine Lemire, summa cum laude. Matthias Jomo Lenz. Catherine Mary Leonard. Jacqueline H. Less, magna cum laude. Christopher David Lear. Ann Lim, magna cum laude. Vito A. Lombardi. Doa Manuel, ka honors. Drew Deeran Makwana. Sarah Malis. Megana Mani. Umer A. Mansur, magna cum laude. Rebecca Marquez. Jade Ashley Martin. Tomas Maslanka, cum laude. Luke Anthony Maslowski, honors cum laude. Catherine Ryan McCormick. Catherine L. Meyer. Morgan J. Meisinger, cum laude. Michaela D. Mejorada, summa cum laude. Valeria Isabel Mendoza. Ashwini U. Modi, honors summa cum laude. 
Liam Patrick Moore O'Farrell, summa cum laude. Aisha Francesca Munir, cum laude. Alex Javier Munoz. Nafia Naila, cum laude. Savannah A. Namliang, magna cum laude. Arnav Nanga. Jaden An Nguyen, honors magna cum laude. Daniel Eduardo Nieves. Quinn Aza Nguente. Sarah A. Noonan, summa cum laude. Nicholas Adam Nuevo, magna cum laude. Benda Suwara Nurcheska. Genevieve Drew O'Brien. Jacqueline Osteguin, cum laude. Mona Mayur Panchal. Raj Parikh, magna cum laude. Arju Rajendra Kumar Patel. Dhruv A. Patel, cum laude. Kush Kitan Patel. Mansi Vikas Patel. Neil Patel. Shriya Rihanna Patel. Jose Alberto Perez Cespedes. Citali Alejandra Perez Leonor Honors Cum Laude. Jenna Marie Peters Cum Laude. Marco Constantine Peters Summa Cum Laude. Anve Pescar Cum Laude. Biara Ivalova Petkova. Zachary R. Pitsenberger, summa cum laude. Sophia Johanna Pittman, summa cum laude. Daniel W. Poloni. Ramin Kadir, cum laude. Michael Angel Quiroz. Alyssa Monet Rabon. Aman R. Rangangi, magna cum laude. Madison Ray, cum laude. John Harrison Resiner. Isabella Reyes, magna cum laude. Michelle Stephanie Reyes. Mackenzie Elizabeth Ridenauer. Mayela Rocha. Gabriela Rocha Bonilla. Federico X. Rodriguez. Tatiana Rodriguez. Javier Carlos Rosas. Alexis Lauren Rossi, honors magna cum laude. Edith Ruiz Ayala. Fatima Marbur Rushnawala. Sydney Emerson Ryan, summa cum laude. Sara Sadak, magna cum laude. Amanda Jean Samaras, magna cum laude. Justice Donald Schaefer. Olivia Grace Shaw, honors magna cum laude. Carolyn Cynthia Schwinn, honors cum laude. Serena Ann Sedano, cum laude. Shreya Beller Sitharam, summa cum laude. Lauren Marie Seeger, honors, summa cum laude. <laughs> William Suhuin Semenchek, honors, magna cum laude. Christina Ann Sendik. Asam Ejad Shah, summa cum laude. Rushab Alpesh Shah. Honors, summa cum laude. Natalie S. Chamon, honors, cum laude. Harrison Schenk, cum laude. Maya Zinet Sharma, honors, magna cum laude. Nina Tara Sharma, honors, magna cum laude. 
Jenna R. Shatat. Harris A. Sheikh, cum laude. Christian Robert Shudariki, summa cum laude. Umer A. Siddiqui. Kanishka Singh, magna cum laude. Ani Siari Smart. Michael G. Spoonholtz, cum laude. Evangelos N. Stavru, honors cum laude. Nicole Elizabeth Stewart, honor, honors cum laude. Nolan Henry Stewart. Sahana Lakshmi Sukumar. Carolyn Elise Sucha, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Ann Swanson, honors magna cum laude. Vanessa M. Swice, cum laude. Matthew Ahmad Swenson, honors. Kevin K. Shapaniak, magna cum laude. Areli Tejas, cum laude. Chase Logan Temple, honors magna cum laude. Javon Xavier Terry. Joseph Anthony Toko, magna cum laude. Emily Marie Tracy. Brian T. Tran. Sydney Dawn Trupic. Jack H. Turner, honors cum laude. Roberto Ismael Valerio. Aubrey Elizabeth Verche. Cindy Bell Vug, summa cum laude. Meldina Vucic. Lashawn Dominique Walter. Tyler J. Wallander, magna cum laude. Christina Alice Wallace, magna cum laude. Mary Jane Waxman, magna cum laude. Haley Jordan Westberg, honors. Mir Wachorczyk, cum laude. Samantha Peyton Wills, honors magna cum laude. Alexandra Rose Zack. Isaac S. Zaya. Anshul Zartash. The Department of Biology. Receiving the degree Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Computer Networks and Security, Cybersecurity, Information Technology, and Software Engineering. Leanne Manuele Ebelenosa. Jessa Tofunmi Adidiji. Kieran T. Alexander, cum laude. Roshan Ibrahim Ali, honors magna cum laude. Zafan Amaha Amare. Samuel D. Bernau, honors cum laude. Matthew Caballero, magna cum laude. Jasmine Camacho. Alyssa M. Castillo. Michael Collins. Avery Joseph Cook, honors summa cum laude. Madison Taylor Crank. Yahuda David, cum laude. Drake A. De La Torre. Winston Wamina Esibu, summa cum laude. Shari Abdulrahim A. Gaban. William Allen Goch. Nita Reddy Guntaka. Joshua Alexander Honig. 
Rehab Sabir Jungantawala, Summa Cum Laude. Pragya Kansal, Magna Cum Laude. Adam Karim Kassam. Amy Lauren Cool, Cum Laude. Mohammed Harris Ahmad Qureshi. Kirby Manjares. Amara Mansoor, Magna Cum Laude. Matthew Richard Marlovitz. Emma Catherine McBride, Cum Laude. Ronald Dennis Mena. Zach Alexander Cotty. Sandra Omobisola Apakohunle, Magna Cum Laude. Shainish Kumar Patel. Igor Eugeni Pomonarenko, Summa Cum Laude. Surya Pratap. Asma Mohammed G. Rady. Emil B. Reese. Aaron Elizabeth Robertson, Magna Cum Laude. Iman Isan Safare, Cum Laude. Penelope Annalise Saldana. Kayla Lynn Salerno, Honors Magna Cum Laude. Stephen Maxwell Segvich. Maxwell Avery Savart. Brendan Joseph Shanahan, Cum Laude. Oluwabegna Shirleru. Zakir Siddiqui. Jacob Robert Stone. Ariana Schmerzak. Lana M. Teberello, Cum Laude. Zarek Tariq. Angel Tassilos. Elena Margaret Traktova, Summa Cum Laude. Hannah Michelle Troud, Magna Cum Laude, Honors. Benjamin Charles Tweet, Summa Cum Laude. Sebastian Vallejo. Ryan Walentowicz, Cum Laude. Jose R. Zermino. Nicholas J. Zebo. Cree Zain, the Department of Computer Science. <laughs> Receiving the degree Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics, Data Science, Math and Computer Science, Math Education and Statistics. Sonia Scarlett Badash. Cicely Jean Barch, Cum Laude. Olivia G. Clark, Cum Laude. Leah Grace Durango, Honors Magna Cum Laude. Gant L. Dunaway. Daryl Egan. Veronica Lura Flynn, Magna Cum Laude. Alexander D. Gamino. Silas Justin Gottwald. Zoha Hassan, Honors Magna Cum Laude. 
Richard Raymond Hauser, magna cum laude. Nimra Khan, honors summa cum laude. Sebastian Lee Kirkpatrick, honors summa cum laude. Anuraj U. Nair, magna cum laude. Brandon D. Way. Olivia Ona Pardo, summa cum laude. Jacob Ian Plaza, honors. Jessica Angeline Post. Olivia Allen Roger. Veronica Serrano. Paige Singla, summa cum laude. Alexandria Madison Wright, magna cum laude. The Department of Mathematics and Statistics. <laughs> Receiving the degree Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy. Kristen E. Bapler, magna cum laude. Leslie M. Corius, Victoria and Marie Evans, David Gabriel Fumo, honors, Gianna Kristineve Gant, Kelly and Maurice Harsadani, summa cum laude. Kian Jerome Jodlowski, Diana Patricia Lozano, magna cum laude, Emma Maria Martiniuk, honors cum laude, Maham Minhajuddin, magna cum laude, Jacob Michael Purcell, summa cum laude. Damien Pierre Sewell, Jr., cum laude. Corey Jade Traina. Devon Alexandra Verrett, summa cum laude. Catherine Alexandra Zipper, magna cum laude. The Department of Philosophy. Receiving the degree Bachelor of Science in Biophysics, Physics, Theoretical Physics, and Applied Mathematics. Ganwati Agrawal, magna cum laude. Kathleen Ann Brown, honors magna cum laude. Elizabeth Joseph, cum laude. Akash Krishnan, Savannah M. Lehrman, honors magna cum laude. Alexander Judah Lewis, honors summa cum laude. Andrew Jordan Rogers, cum laude. Themistocles Zelos, magna cum laude. The Department of Physics and Biophysics. Receiving the degree Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and Sociology Anthropology. Philip Anthony Alston. Ella Kennedy Arnold. Henley L. Burton, magna cum laude. Amina Imitiaz Dalal, honors cum magna cum laude. Isabella Marie Denzer. 
Elise Brienne Hall, magna cum laude. Mia Taylor Hill. Skylar Rain Canine, magna cum laude. Eliza Hannah Kotzman Jacobson, summa cum laude. Sophia Kachelik, summa cum laude. Adrian Marie Konafka, honors cum laude. Madison Micah Lawrence, honors cum laude. Tristan Michael Lovestrand. Evelyn Jane Ludwig, honors summa cum laude. Emmy Isabel Martel. Alia Edwa Elwa Mitwali, magna cum laude. Alexander Miranda. Peter H. Nano. Jonathan Enrique Nuremberg, summa cum laude. Justin Marlin Rayburn. Tice Bell Rulick Malley, summa cum laude. Ava Marie Savancool, summa cum laude. Mary Pierce Sewell, cum laude. Jennifer Serna. Samuel C. Uford. Caitlin Bridget Wendy Werkiowski, honors magna cum laude. The Department of Sociology. Congratulations to the class of 2024 graduates from the College of Arts and Sciences. direct your attention to the screens as we stream a video message from the Loyola Alumni Association, followed by remarks from President Mark Reed. Hello from Chicago. My name is Thad Wong from the class of 1996, and I am co-CEO of At Properties Christie's International Real Estate. I wish you all a big congratulations on one of the greatest accomplishments in your life, your graduation. After graduation, you are automatically welcomed as part of the Loyola University Chicago Alumni Association. It is now my pleasure to turn it over to my fellow alumnus, Dr. Steven Squinto. Dr. Squinto has had a remarkable career in the biotechnology company building and investing space. Speaking to you from Palm Beach, Florida, Dr. Steven Squinto. Thanks, Thad, and congratulations to all of our graduates. I graduated from Loyola with two degrees. I am currently with J.P. Morgan Asset Management. I serve as the Chief Investment Officer and the Managing Partner of our newly created Light Sciences Private Capital Group. Loyola's goal is to find a meaningful way for all of our alumni to remain engaged with the university. For example, you can stay connected through Loyola's mentorship program, Loyola Linked. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Glennis Green. Dr. Green serves as the co-founder and executive director of the Black Researchers Collective. She joins us from Chicago, Illinois. 
Thank you, Dr. Squinto, and congratulations, everyone. My name is Dr. Glennis Green, AKA Dr. G, and I'm a 2009 graduate from the College of Arts and Sciences. A great way to stay in touch with Loyola is to keep in contact with professors and staff or attend one of the many alumni events. There will always be a way for you to stay connected. There are regional Rambler communities that you can be a part of, including in San Francisco, home of Reach Capital, co-founder and Loyola alum, Jennifer Carolan. Jennifer taught in traditional public schools for seven years, pursued an MA in education from Stanford, then went on to learn the craft of venture capital for almost a decade before co-founding Reach Capital. Thank you so much, Dr. Green. I graduated from Loyola in 1997 from the College of Arts and Sciences. I am a co-founder and partner at Reach Capital. Loyola was the first real mission-driven organization that I was a part of, and it had a major impact on my career, including the founding of Reach, a mission-driven venture fund focused on education. And it is so important to remain part of our community. So let's stay in touch. I urge you to take full advantage of these opportunities. Congratulations again on your graduation from Loyola University, Chicago. You should be very proud. The best is yet to come. Go Ramblers. On behalf of the faculty, the staff, and the entire Loyola University Chicago community, I offer you graduates my heartfelt and deepest congratulations on this very special day. And welcome, of course, to the family and friends joining us here in the arena and everyone who's watching online on the live feed. This is the third and the final ceremony for the College of Arts and Sciences today, and the 10th of 12 ceremonies overall we're conducting this week. And I sense at this point there's a little pent up energy in the arena at the end of a day. People are looking forward to going out and celebrating. So make as much noise as you want. You know, I mentioned, I mentioned the number of ceremonies we have this week for a reason, because it takes a small army of people to put this all together. And they're often behind the scenes, you don't see them, but we're very, very grateful for everything that they do. And then there's a few of us who are at the ceremonies by, um, by the nature of our roles or our positions at the institution. But there's another person who comes to every ceremony and doesn't have to worry about the logistics, doesn't have to speak, is here simply because she wants to be, and she wants to be here for all of you the way she is every day on her first floor, in her first floor office of the Damon Student Center. Sister Jean, please. Thank you so much, sister. Now, graduates, years from now, perhaps hours from now, few of you will remember the president of Loyola University Chicago who spoke at your graduation or greeted you as you came across the stage. And that's just fine with me because you're going to remember the people you should remember. You're going to vividly remember, of course, the remarkable faculty and staff that you encountered here. Because you're gonna benefit from their insight and their care for the rest of your lives. And so please, graduates, honor the Loyola faculty and staff who share in your achievements and celebration today, and join me in saying thank you to them.
Now, we have already heard wonderful reflections and remarks from our student and commencement speakers. So you can take comfort that I know when to be brief. I simply want to say to you graduates that you have been privileged to be part of the Jesuit educational experience that is nearly 500 years old. And it's more than 150 years old right here in Chicago and at Loyola. And we seek to educate and to form in you the next generation of leaders who will be capable of shaping the future with competence, vision, justice, and charity, with a sense of calling and with concern for all of the human family. And you have received much during your time here at Loyola, but remember that your education ultimately isn't just for you. It's for you to serve and to make a difference in your community, your family, your chosen professions, and the lives of others. And you will spend the next years and decades figuring out just how to do that. So please go forward and embrace your futures boldly and confidently. But always remember that you are loved. We love you at Loyola. Your parents, family, and your friends love you. And God loves you. Thank you very much. And now I invite everyone here in the arena who is able to please stand and join me in a special blessing upon our graduates. Now, graduates, you get to sit. <laughs> Sorry for any confusion there. The blessing will appear on the screens, and it's also located on the last page of the program. And I invite you to extend a hand over our graduates May God bless you and sustain you on this, your graduation day. May the creator of this vast universe keep you safe as you go forth from this place that has nourished your mind and your soul. May the Almighty look down upon you and give you success in all your endeavors, courage in all your struggles and challenges, understanding in all that is new to you, wisdom to choose what is right and to do what is good and perseverance in all you undertake. Serenity and peace in the knowledge that you are not alone, that you are loved. And may the Lord of all look kindly upon you this day and forever, amen. Congratulations, class of 2024. Will our graduates please rise? It is now my privilege to invite Avery Simmons, a student in the College of Arts and Sciences, class of 2026, to lead the community in the Loyola University alma mater. Avery will be accompanied by the Loyola Wind Ensemble.
Many thanks to our talented musicians, some of whom have been playing since 8.30 this morning. Can we please give them another round of applause? We ask that the audience please be seated until the recessional from the stage and the graduates have left the arena. Following the recessional, please join the graduates for a reception on the West Quad. <laughs> 